I'm now going to show you some of the enhancements in the new type database manager. This is with C Electrical V8R1. So it's been completely overhauled. I'm going to go to fu uh, functions and database and you can see straight away it's a completely different interface there. Um, at the top we have a filter so without having to use uh, functions and filters we can start typing something in to search for a particular part. Um, it's very easy to make use of. You can also pre-filter so you can say actually the component I'm looking for is in a subgroup. It's from Alan Bradley and then you can do a search. Um, if you want to further refine it you can say actually it's a particular type of component. I'm going to go down and say it's a power contactor I'm looking for. So you can refine your search and uh, make it much quicker to find things. Very simple to use. Um, you can also toggle the information here and change it instead of manufacturer you can say search by the type of component the goods group so if I'm looking for circuit breakers I can click in there and I've got a list of all my circuit breakers uh, within here I can also change what information I, uh, I can see so I can go to the column cho chooser and I could say from the list of available fields of information I can show the current and you can see now I've got the current displaying in there um, if I want I can also right click and show the group by box and what I can do is drag one of the fields into there and now I can group by that particular field so if I'm looking for 100 amp breakers I can click on there and straight away I've got a list of different manufacturers with their circuit breakers so nice and easy to customize and make use of um, some of the other features that have changed when I double click I can now see that information directly here as well as before that I can see the preview just the fields that have got information in so I couldn't see for instance the default value for the color uh, or the uh, the power. Um, the information here for defined channels has changed slightly but it's still the same uh, concept you've got the connection points the type of symbol. Um, we've got a new section here for 3D cabinet which allows us to link the symbol for a 3D cabinet layout this is something that's coming out in the next release. So nice and easy to use there. Um, when we're adding a new part we can click on add and we can type in the new part number so I can say this is uh, a new one and it's a mobile phone. Um, if the manufacturer isn't in there at the moment we can actually add a new manufacturer very simply just by typing it in and this is something you had to do separately in a separate command before to add new manufacturers and goods groups. Okay, so I can put some information in there for um, the width. I don't actually know the size, but I'm going to put it's pretty big. <coughs> and you can see that that information gets added automatically. If I just right click and toggle that back to manufacturer, then I can see I can now search and find that information very quickly. Um, we've got some changes to the settings. We can change how the imports um, work so that when you import information you can automatically overwrite anything that's changed. Uh, we've got links to the web database where we've got um, over 600,000 parts which can be accessed and downloaded directly from the website. Uh, we've got options as to what's selectable, what fields are defaults, and we can add new properties in there just by scrolling down and adding new field types to the database. Um, some other changes we've made changes to how we import and export so for instance when we go to import instead of having an option now of what type of uh, file to, to import where you say import from an Excel file or an XML you now change the type down here it's the same dialog that you use it just depends what file you give it okay so that's under import same sort of thing for export you get a choice as to how it's exported you can also filter for the information um, and just export a certain type of information. So for instance if I just wanted to export all my Alan Bradley breakers I would select those in there and I can see them if I just extend that I can see the ones that I've got and now when I go to export I'm just exporting six items so much more control over what you export. So the whole thing's been uh, revamped for speed increases and for usability so some great new changes.